typically when folks come in to talk with us, it's because they've noticed a change um, and have noticed over time. So it is something, I mean, we all from time to time can feel affected by the weather, um, but this is something that is more prolonged and they notice it over time. So it may be a year or two that they notice between November and March they experience a lot of symptoms of depression and then when the weather shifts and we start having more light uh, they start feeling better um, and then the next cycle comes and the time changes and we get less light it gets darker and suddenly those symptoms reappear um, so that you know that is then we would be talking more about wow it sounds like you are seasonally affected by depression even though it's a gray sky today um, being outside even though it's not like well the sun's not out you're still getting light. You're still getting light that's coming through. And so getting out for a walk um, and, and getting out for 20 to 30 minutes, taking an extra lap around the park blocks before you go to class. Utilize what you, the resources that you have. The rec center is a nice place to be because there's a lot of opportunities that are offered, whether that is fitness. I mean, they have a lot of free opportunities for students. Um, and then of course, I would recommend ThriveX. Um, it's a great opportunity to experience something that's not necessarily, it's a bit more inclusive. It's not just your physical health that makes up your entire health. Um, to be healthy, it's, it's more about having a way to look at every aspect of yourself, whether that is your physical health or you know financial health is a big thing, uh, especially on a college campus, emotional health, social health, mental health, and physical health as well. Therapy, light therapy, um, coming to see a doctor to discuss medication. It could be all of those. It could be one of those. 